Now attacking midfielder Stuart Slater a few days to settle in here at Parkhead. The man dropping out is Charlie Nicholas. And there is Andy Payton, who manager Liam Brady hopes will add plenty of dash and goals to his strike force. He had injury problems at Middlesbrough, but in his last two seasons at Hull, Payton scored 42 goals. Dundee United are along expected lines after making an excellent start to the season, winning three and drawing one of the opening four games. They'll be desperate to make up for the disappointments against Celtic last season. And one man who can help is midfielder Billy McKinley, who's fought his way back into the side after a leg break, which cost him a place in the European Championship squad. He looks set for an outstanding season. The referee is Andrew Waddle from Edinburgh. An interested spectator is Sandy Roxburgh, who later on flies out to watch World Cup opponents, Switzerland and Estonia. So Celtic get the match underway and a great year of anticipation here at Parkhead with the new signings this week. And there's Peyton running right through and almost the most sensational of starts. Well, the Dundee United defence seemed rooted to the spot and Peyton went racing through and that really would have been the dream start. He just nipped in ahead of Alan Men. Here comes Celtic again, it's Paul McStay finding Peyton. Oh, he's certainly got plenty of early touches. And well struck by John Collins. Well, John Collins uh, scored two excellent goals against United in the opening game at Tannadice last season. It's away from Miller. Nicely stopped there by Mowbray. Now it's Mike Galloway. Mike Galloway back into the team in midweek after serving a four-match suspension. He's vowed to keep out of fresh trouble this season. That's a lovely little touch there by Payton. That's Joe Miller. Good play by Celtic. Jerry Crenny! Oh, that's a wonderful goal by Celtic. Four minutes gone. It was Payton to Miller. Miller's cross and there was Craney with the glancing downward header. It was a goal of real quality. The lovely touch there by Andy Payton, stepping away from his marker. Then he found Joe Miller on the right and Miller's cross was absolutely imperfect. A great header from Jerry Craney stealing in there, the glancing header. And Alan Main with no chance. Celtic 1, Dundee United 0. There's a flurry of activity over at the Celtic bench now. And there's been a change. Brian O'Neill has come on. And Darius Dovchek is the man who has gone off. And that means now that uh, Tom Boyd has switched to the left-back position. Mike Galloway has switched to the right-back position. Celtic reorganising quickly. And there's Brian O'Neill who's gone straight into the midfield role. Well, Celtic in menacing mood already in this match Jerry Trainey has struck for Celtic and now the free kick against Tony Mowbray foul on Paddy Connolly quickly taken by McKinley to Van der Hoorn well, well cut out by Boyd he just took that away from McAnally the break on here for Celtic now they're pouring players forward still Boyd a dangerous cross and Peyton was in there with David Neri, the ball goes behind and the referee is awarding a goal kick well it's a great piece of anticipation by Tom Boyd as he nipped in ahead of Jim McAnally and Peyton reacted well there but David Neri was with him Ferguson that ball taking a slight deflection a difficult one for the goalkeeper and the corner kick awarded Tom Boyd it was who Gave cover at the back post. The ball taking a slight deflection off, uh, I think it was Mowbray. And that had Marshall in a bit of trouble. Marshall organising his defence. John O'Neill takes the corner kick. Goes it to McAnally. And well held by Gordon Marshall. And still rain falling here at Parkhead, not as heavy as it was earlier in the day. 
Certainly hasn't dampened the enthusiasm of the crowd, a noisy crowd here this afternoon. Here John Collins now with support from Boyd, good running by Boyd. Freeney's in there again. Boyd for Celtic. And Ryan O'Neill. Boyd again. Freeney coming in. He's done it again. Jerry Freeney. Another header. 12 minutes gone. Celtic 2, Dundee United 0. And the United defence all over the place. Well, Jerry Craney enjoying a birthday. Again, it was terrific work by Tom Boyd all the way down the left side of the field. And really, the United defence should have got that cleared, drifting on in under the crossbar. 2-0 to Celtic. Well, last season uh, was the first since 1980-81 that Celtic were in unbeaten in all four games against United. Funnily now trying to get United going, laid off there. For McAnally, that was a bad effort. And Duncan Ferguson, who knocked it into his path, and McAnally struck it with some venom. But it was uh, certainly well held by the Celtic goalkeeper. Billy McKinley now for United to Vanderhoorn. Quickly closed down by Collins. Now it's Neary. McKinley. And the free kick awarded to United. Paul McStay, the offender. And Duncan Ferguson calling for it. John Clark. And the free kick forward. Easily headed away by Gillespie. Returned by Neary. Duncan Ferguson. McAnally. The chance on here. And that wasn't far away. Well, it was a real chance for United. And Gordon Marshall was looking on anxiously there as O'Neill's head up. Dipped just beyond the goal. Well, John O'Neill scored two excellent goals in the opening match against Celtic at Tannadice last season, yet still ended up on the losing side. Again, beaten by Galloway. Neary for United. Clark. McAnally. Billy McKinley running into a bit of trouble. Paul McStay winning it well to Andy Payton. Oh, a terrific effort by Payton. He switched the ball onto his left foot. And that one certainly wasn't far away. And that brings tremendous applause from the Celtic fans and Alan Main really put well out of goal there that one wasn't far away Gillespie to Galloway looks away from him though Billy McKinley Duncan Ferguson getting the touch to O'Neill. Better play by United. Oh, and Marshall got the, his hand to it there. And what a chance falling to Grant Johnson. Well, Marshall at full stretch. He could only get his fingertips to the ball. It's been a nice little touch initially through to John O'Neill. Marshall got his hand to it. And then Grant Johnson failing to cash in. Tom Boyd. And ball for... Peyton there to chase, but breaks now to Collins. Boyd, McStay. Celtic with plenty of players forward. Rick Celtic's way. Good play by John Collins. Rooney's in there again. Well, Dundee United are having a bit of a nightmare in the air. Rooney again going up with Malpass. And he got the header in on goal. He's got enough power this time to worry Alan Men. We move into injury time in this first half. With Galloway. McAnally couldn't prevent it going to O'Neill, but the offside flag goes up. 
against Trini. The referee checking his watch, looking out towards the linesman. Duncan Ferguson for United to Malpass. Cut out by Gillespie. And there goes the half-time whistle. United who start the second half. As the crowd settle again. And Celtic have made a change. And Tommy Coyne has come on for Mike Galloway who took a knock just before the interval. It means another reshuffle for Celtic. Brian O'Neill has moved to the right back position. So he's a, the, the third player occupying that role in this game. Here's Paul McStay now for Celtic. Peyton getting the touch. It's cut out by Malpass. It's McAnally for United. McAnally again. Johnson. David Neary running into trouble. That was Peyton who made the challenge. Now it's Crane. Well, for an experienced defender like David Neary to get caught like that, it's not often you see it, but again, he'd be caught in two minds because of the rule governing the pass back. And Craney sent it right across the face of goal, hoping to find Peyton again. Stay finding Miller. Taking on Johnson. Good play by Miller. Coyne's there. Oh, that's a marvellous save by Alan Main. Well, Tommy Coyne, the contribution by that man to Celtic in terms of goals is remarkable. And he was almost on the score sheet again. But a terrific save by Alan Main. It was excellent play by Joe Miller on the right. And a very good cross indeed. And there was Coyne with a downward head up. And a superb save. John O'Neill against Tom Boyd. Boyd wins it, does well. We'll show him this afternoon how he can uh, defend and attack Tom Boyd. Celtic again knocking the ball about with confidence. Brian O'Neill. Celtic skipper, Paul McStay. Canelli to Ferguson. John Collins again getting through a power of work. Wins it for Celtic. Breaks now to Joe Miller. Tommy Collins calling for it at the far side. Goes to Craney. Well, that wasn't a bad effort from Jerry Craney. He had to react quickly. I think Miller's intention was to loft it uh, right across to Tommy Coyne. He was looking in the far side, but Trini did well under the circumstances, and that certainly wasn't far away. Duncan Ferguson again. Cut out by Joe Miller. Out to Malpass, though. Frank Johnson. Laid off by Connolly to Malpass. Well headed away by Mowbray. Uh, Van der Hoorn pushing forward now. Van der Hoorn again. He gets another chance at it. And Perry Connolly was in at the near post. Well, the Celtic defence seemed to stop there. The ball looked as though it might spin out of play. And that was a definite chance for Perry Connolly. good attendance here at Parkhead this afternoon despite the rainy day obviously the new signings bringing out the fans but it's United now trying to fight their way back into this game Celtic will get it clear and as far as Neri Johnson Ryan O'Neill for Celtic the ball through to Tommy Klein but 
It was unfortunate there. He was trying to open up a gap on his marker. Oh, and we had a play for the throw in to United. There's Mowbray. One one for Crini. Hands off the challenge of Neri. Support now from Paul McStay. That's an excellent cross and well handled by Alan Men. Well, Tommy Coyne was racing in. Paul McStay had spotted him, tried to lay it right onto his head. And the goalkeeper did well. That's Vanderhoorn for United. John Collins again beavering in the middle of the park. The offside flag low goes up. And Andy Payton. This is a quieter second half. He's responded very well to the challenge in the first 45 minutes. Again, it's a high ball aimed at Duncan Ferguson. The chance on now for United, and that's a good save by Gordon Marshall from Grant Johnson. A real chance for United to do something. Again, it was Duncan Ferguson getting the touch. The ball broke through to Grant Johnson. And Marshall did just enough to touch it away. He'll be pleased with that save. O'Neill. Miller. Through to McStay. Duncan Ferguson's back helping defence. Stumbled though by McStay. Pass and McKinley linking up again. Collins is in there snapping away. Good play by Malpasso. Duncan Ferguson moves it out to Andy Payton. Good play by Payton stepping away there to McAnally through to Tony Coyne. Celtic can wrap it all up here. Uh, just got away from Coyne at the last moment. Neri was chasing in with him. Powerful header there from John Clark. Celtic have it again. Mowbray to Collins. Boyd well forward. Through for Payton. Well blocked there though by Van der Hoorn. And Trini with the shot. And that was only inches away from Main's left hand post. So a good build up from Celtic. Payton and Boyd were very much involved in it. It was played through there by Boyd to Payton. And then in step Jerry Crini. And the curl in the ball, and that wasn't far away. Celtic happy to play out time. And there goes the final whistle. So a convincing victory for Celtic, and thanks to two goals from Jerry Craney there.